sun. Wind. Seawater are the elements that allow us to obtain a mineral that is fundamental for human beings. Salt in its different states and forms has been linked to humanity since the beginning of time. Alicante precisely because of its climatic conditions, was, from ancient times, a salt producer. Alicante, land and sea of salt. Little is known about salt extraction in the Iberian Peninsula and there is no archaeological evidence of its harvesting, production or trade. The salt from the sea and the brackish lagoons of the interior not only satisfied the growing demand for salt, but also made some kind of trade possible. Archaeologists are working on the hypothesis that, in the Bronze Age, near Vienna, in the area of Redondo Cabeza, livestock farmers traded with pieces of salted pork. The Iberians used salt to preserve fish and meat and to produce salted fish. In La Yeta del Spagnets in Campello, there is considerable evidence which allows us to affirm that salt was very important in the Iberian period. At the beginning and the end of the 20th century, structures, four pools and the base of an oven were excavated, which were probably part of a facility dedicated to fish preservation. In Ilieta, as elsewhere, it has not been possible to determine the method of salt extraction employed by the Iberians. In Roman times, the consumption of salt reached all points of the empire. It was so important that Roman soldiers received a salt ration as part of their pay. This is where the word salary comes from. As on the rest of the coast of Spain, the Romans marked out the coast of Alicante with its setarias or factories for salted fish and the production of sauces. But it is in the Roman Portus Ilicitanus, the current Santa Pola, the port of the Roman colony of Iliki, where the most important remains of the industry dedicated to fish processing appear. Buckets, settling ponds and fresh water tanks, cutting rooms, a baking oven and amphorae with traces of salt are suggested in the archaeological remains. Possibly, salt cementa, meat from different species of salted fish, as well as a major production of the famous Roman seasoning, the sauce called garum, was produced. The port would certainly have been an export route to multiple destinations. That which confirms the harvesting and export of salt in Roman times are the remains of the jetty of La Mata in Torrevieja, as well as numerous amphorae, small anchors and lead objects were found in the vicinity. For the Arabs, salt was a common product, easily obtained and in sufficient abundance, 
which was extracted from small mines called al mayaha or salt works. There are Arab agricultural calendars from the 10th century that speak of the September salt and wheat crops. They left evidence of its importance in books and Andalusian treatises. We know that salt was essential for livestock breeding and that in agriculture it was used as a fertilizer for palm trees. There is evidence of its use in medical and pharmacological prescriptions and in cookery books. Since the Middle Ages, the salt monopoly in its territories belonged to the crown of Aragon, which owned the salt mines. In the Kingdom of Valencia, the crown determines the geographical areas, gabellas or warehouses for the sale of salt, and sets the prices. This monopoly was later called the Estanco de la Sal, the state salt monopoly. Its distribution was carried out from the gabellas, also called barns, like those which existed in the port of Alicante, built by Felipe II in 1591 and whose shield can be found in Mark. In 1869, the courts declared El Desestanco de la Sal the deregulation of the salt market and decided upon the sale of the salt mines, with some exceptions, such as La Mata Torrevieja, which was still owned by the state. In Alicante, the three systems of salt extraction coincide. The coastal salt flats of Santa Pola and Torrevieja La Mata, the deposits of alita or gem salt in Cabeza de la Sal in Pinoso, and in working salty springs like those in the salt cellars in Vienna. In the municipality of Vienna, located in the interior of the province, about 65 kilometers from the coast, there are currently three salt mines or salt cellars in popular language in operation the old salt cellar, the new salt cellar, and the Penalva salt cellar produce about 5,000 tons of salt a year, which is used mainly in the textile industry for dyeing and tanning leather from Cothentina to Creviente. On the Alicante coast, ancient salt flats and wetlands are no longer exploited. Some have become protected wetlands or wildlife parks, like those of Calpe, and others have simply disappeared. The old salt flats of Calpe have been closed since 1988. La Laguna is now fully integrated into the urban area, being a stopping point for migratory birds. Four kilometers to the south of Alicante is another salt mining area called El Saladar de Agua Amarga, in disuse since 1967. After several attempts to develop the area, the salt marsh is currently included in the list of wetlands in the region of Valencia. The depth of the water also serves as a shelter for migratory birds. Las Salinas de Santa Pola were declared a natural park in 1994. Its variety of environments and high biodiversity make it a unique area. The large concentration of flamingos, sometimes over 8,000, a bird that is now a symbol of Las Salinas, serves as one example. El Parque Natural de Las Salinas in Santa Pola and El Parque de las Lagunas in Torrevieja la Mata are the real drivers of the present-day salt industry in Alicante.
Seawater is the best known source of the supply of salt. And water from the Mediterranean Sea contains exactly 36 grams of salt per litre. To retrieve the salt, a large evaporation surface is needed. Through a system of shallow ponds, the water heats up due to the effect of the sun and evaporates thanks to the winds. When the concentration of salt reaches 270 grams per litre, the floodgates are opened and the salt crust deposited on the bottom is retrieved. In the beginning of the 20th century, three salt production facilities were installed in the area. Murtulas, Ras del Port and Pinet Bomati. Ras del Port is currently one of the most productive salt mines in the Mediterranean. Bon Marti has an output of 30,000 tons. And Murtulas, closed since 1979 and owned by the municipality, houses the information centre of the natural park in the old mill. Without doubt, the biggest salt complex in Europe is that which forms the lagoons of Torvieca and La Mata. After the Civil War, modernization plans for the production and shipment of salt were undertaken in the port of Torvieca. Refined salt production began in 1965. A conveyor belt was installed which allows the product to be loaded directly onto the boats, considerably increasing exports. In the 70s, due to the strong surge in domestic demand and after numerous surveys and mining studies, it was decided to make use of the only rock salt deposit that exists in Alicante. It can be found on the mountain of Cabetho de la Sal in the municipality of Pinoso, located in the interior of the province. For its transport, a pipeline nearly half a metre in diameter and 52 kilometres long was constructed, which allows the transportation of rock salt from Pinoso to La Laguna de Torrevieja in the form of brine. To achieve this transformation, a jet of pressurised water is fired on the mineral rock salt to dissolve it. The result is brine with a very high salt concentration, well above that of the sea and at the point of crystallisation. With this addition, La Laguna de Torrevieja reached 1 million tons in 1975. The modernization of machinery, mechanization and improvements in the processing of salt to extract iodine makes it the current leader in the field. The salt works of Torrevieja, La Mata, Pinoso currently belong to a joint venture which the Spanish state shares with the French group Salins. Current production is estimated at 800,000 tonnes per year, one third of which is used for domestic consumption whilst the rest is exported with about 50 different kinds of salt. After this overview of the history, use and the properties of salt, we can say that nowadays Alicante is one of the principal producers of salt in Spain and one of the most important in Europe. But the importance of salt is its relationship to the very history of the land from which it is extracted and its closeness to the different eras and civilizations that shaped it. And this is how it happened in our land. From Roman fish salting factories to the legacy of the Arabs, or from the tanning of hides to the dyes used in the textile industry, to the very survival of humans and animals.
without it. Without its beneficial properties, without its uses and applications, mankind could not have written its history. Inextricably linked to the true story of salt. <laughs>